Hi all, um, down below, <laughs> that's not a surprise to you is it? Uh, it's been a funny couple of weeks and I'm quite sure that you know, one of the last things you want is to switch on YouTube and sit there and watch some bloke moaning at you. But uh, here we go. Something I wasn't actually going to announce here, but I will now, due to a couple of new circumstances. That is, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we went off to England for the best part of a week, nearly a week. Um, it was my brother's wife's funeral. Um, Natalie passed away, sadly, on uh, Christmas Eve. And uh, she's only 52, um, cancer. Very, very sad, very trying time, um, yeah wasn't good. So we were there and uh, connected with that. The reason why I'm going to actually bother telling you about that is, is because really it's not relevant for the boat build, is it? Let's face it. But Natalie's last few months were spent in a, in a hospice um, where, as my, my brother, so my brother tells me, um, they looked after her absolutely brilliantly. Um, St. Peter's Hospice near our hometown. Um, he's very impressed with their care. Um, yeah, sort of end of life care, you know. And uh, so what he is now aiming to do is, is he wants to raise some money for them. These hospices run entirely on charity. Um, and he's aiming to raise £16,000 for them, which is they, they need about £8,000 a day, I believe, to run. So his goal is to get them enough money to run over that Christmas period next year. When Natty was there, you know, last year. Um, and in order to do that, he's started training. He wants to walk up Kilimanjaro. What I should add is that uh, Ginger, my brother, has a false knee as well. So um, a few years ago, he had a replacement knee put in. So, you know, it's, and I think his knee's still not 100% comfortable. So it is, it's quite a challenge, quite a challenge for him. Um, and he's trying to raise money. And he's, uh, he's opened up a GoFundMe page. So I just want to take this opportunity to announce that. So it's, it's kind of like a, a sponsored walk, really, is the idea. A sponsored walk up Kilimanjaro, but not one where you pay for, in the traditional sponsored walk way, you pay for every kilometre walked. It's just one sponsor fee for the entire, for the entire walk. And so, basically, the reason I'm mentioning this, of course, is if any of you lovely people would like to but to support him and his efforts there, um, I'm sure, well, there's no doubt it'd be very much appreciated. And, and it goes to a great charity, you know, marvellous end of life support that these people give. I mean, what a job, eh? And fantastic work they do. So, um, I shall try to get one of those clever drop down links that they have in YouTube, those card things with, with, the, with the link to the GoFundMe. Um, I, shall, I shall also put the URL in this video description. He's also started a, a YouTube channel. So far he's got one video up and, and as is the nature with first videos, it's, you know, he can work on his video making. But then, didn't we all? We all got to start something. <coughs> the link for, the, for his YouTube channel, I should also put in this video description. But the, the other issue, here I'm moaning at you again, I've now managed to pick up a bit of a bug virusy thing in the chest, <coughs> there he goes, proof, um, which clearly slows you down a bit. But between times, between all of that, we have been getting a bit done. Um, last video we started to finish the four cabin. The four cabin is now nearly finished, nearly, I say. Let's wander in here. Ah. So the shelves you saw me fitting, uh, a couple of weeks ago. I've now I've got two pieces of mahogany trim down the, the, the verticals down. There will be horizontals coming across one, two, three. Uh, but I decided to get the shelves painted before I put those horizontals on there. Just better access to painting it. Um, so that's in progress.
width of 4.3, just to there. Um, and then the other thing I've done is, is I've been in here, I've sanded the entire fork cabin, or, or the woodwork. You remember that these panels here, one, two, three, four, will be clad with a, with a cloth. Um, so the, the woodwork itself is what's being painted. So I was in here, I sanded the entire woodwork, which is no small job. Um, and I didn't video me sanding woodwork. I didn't think that was the most fascinating piece of YouTube video. Um, but once it was sanded, got in there with two coats of undercoat, 
um, and I started the gloss coat. Now I've got up as far as here with the gloss. So you see, it's dry there, it's dry. These two still to do. That's done, that's done. Everything forward of there is done. The paint I'm using comes from the same supplier as the epoxy I buy. Um, it's a German product described as a uh, Kunsthutz or uh, lac, Kunsthutz lac, which is artificial or synthetic resin paint. I'm not sure what you call it in English, I'm afraid. Um, I've gone for the undercoat was white, the, this, the gloss is pearl white, and I have to say I'm very happy with the colour. Kind of an antique white look. Really like it. Nice and friendly. So that's where we are. Um, probably in the next, well, this weekend certainly. Should I have this finished, get the get the horizontal bits of mahogany on there, um, start putting a bit of varnish around on the on the hardwood. So the fore cabin is nearly finished. I've got a couple of brushes here, and you know, this is hardly rocket science, but to keep your brushes fresh, you just stand them in a pot of water. It stops the oxygen getting at the brush, doesn't it, at the paint. Um, because actually, if, if you use a brush regularly, 
that's the best thing to do just stand it in a pot of water. If you actually wash it with brush cleaner or thinners or whatever, you never get all the paint out and then some of it dries in the bristles and, and your brush doesn't stay good. But for the glass work, I bought myself a new, invested, invested in a new brush. Cost me about seven bucks, I think. Two inch brush, it's beautiful. It's a really nice brush. And I think for, for, you know, for your finish work particularly, it does pay to, to invest in a decent brush. And that is, it feels lovely in the hand. It, it pulls straight lines when you're trying to do cut in. And it's very, very nice. I say, just between painting sessions, stand in the pot of water, not too deep so the water doesn't get up into the metal there. The water comes up to basically the bottom of the metal. And uh, all good. Okay, guys, that's, that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. Um, I know a couple of strange bits in this one, but uh, anything I can do to help my brother with his, with his cause there, I think it's a great cause that he's trying to do. Um, I wanted to put the word out. I should certainly be donating. If, I, if I've managed to encourage any of you to put a, put a couple of bucks in, that'd be a great thing. Um, help these videos, perhaps. Hit the old subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you next time. Riches in the sunset, stand at sea. Tell me where you're going so decisively. What's your destination? Tell me where you're bound We can move together where adventures abound